Hello, and welcome to the first ever Start at Shea case competition. My name is Jenna Steichen, and I'm one of the co-chairs on the Start at Shea board. For the case competition, we reached out to Drizzly, an alcohol delivery company based in Boston, to see if there's a problem that they were currently facing that BC students could tackle. They got back to us with an issue around their current alcohol delivery model, and that became the prompt for the competition. So to kick off the competition, Dean Lacombe did a workshop talking about what case competitions are and how to think about the problem. And then we offered a Q&A session with Sophia Papastamelos, who is a product manager at Drizzly, and she really helps students better understand how Drizzly currently operates and what the delivery ecosystem looks like. So for the first round of the competition, students had to complete a two-page executive summary, and the Drizzly team judged that and then passed on six teams to the final round, which consisted of a 10-minute presentation followed by five minutes of Q&A. And now to announce our awesome judges for the final round, I'm gonna pass it off to Jane. Thank you, Jenna, for the introduction. My name is Jane. I am a senior at Boston College and also on the e-board for Start a Shea. In this year's case competition, we are so honored to have three judges from Drizzly and Lantern to help us judge the final round. All of them are BC alums and let's get to know them. Hi everyone, I'm Sophia Papastamelos. I'm a senior product manager at Drizzly. I am BC 2013 and my favorite BC dining hall meal has to be the chicken fingers from late night. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Eric Lopez and I am head of ops at Lantern, class of BC 2011, represent. And my favorite meal from BC was probably the honey cube. What's up, everyone? My name is Justin Robinson, one of the co-founders of Drizzly uh, and uh, Lantern with Eric. Um, BC, CSOM 2011. Uh, favorite meal uh, is definitely steak and cheese from lower, preferably late night as well. Um, yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Maggie Yan, and I'm a junior at Boston College and also on the Start at Che eboard along with Jenna and Jing. Now that we have met our judges, it is time to meet the 16 that have made it to the final round of this case competition. Hi, my name is B-Joy. I, I'm a junior at BC and I participated in the Drizzly case competition through the Shea Center because it was a great opportunity for Bojana, Justin and I to work together in a team and really try to understand what goes behind creating a startup company. Hi, I'm Bojana Kolchitsky. I'm a junior as well, studying information systems, business analytics, and studio art. Um, and the reason I participated in the case competition is because I love the Shea Center for Entrepreneurship. And this was a new initiative they had that I thought was super exciting and super different. I'd never done a case before, and I thought it was a great opportunity to work with a startup versus other traditional ones that they have. Hi, my name is Justin Hallett, and I'm also a junior here at BC. I'm studying marketing and information systems with a minor in computer science. I joined this case competition. It's a very similar to BJO and Bojana um, because I was very interested in the startup culture of Drizzly. I wanted to learn more about it while also being able to work on a team and hone my um, case competition skills, which is obviously a very useful um, and transferable skill set to have as I move into the consulting world. I'm Matt Pagliotta. Um, I'm a psychology major and a finance minor. I originally uh, was a marketing minor and an economics major. So I've gone through a lot of different shifts, taken a lot of classes across uh, BC's offerings, and I found the ability to kind of dive into uh, marketing and finance really engaging. So when I heard about the option, I thought this was a great experience builder and an opportunity to work with a real uh, live scenario and uh, get a little bit of experience in something I'm interested in. Awesome, and I'm Kel Lege, and just sort of echoing some of Matt's sentiments on why, uh, you know, it's that live scenario that is enticing to me. I think in school, I'm an economics major. And so I spend a lot of time with theories and not a lot of time, you know, practicing actual business problems. And so when I got the opportunity to do this case, it really enticed me and I got a great partner with Matt. And, you know, I had a great time just thinking about, you know, strategy in a tech company. It's not something I get to do very often. So I'm happy I got to do it. 
Hi, I'm Sophia. I'm a sophomore and I'm studying marketing and history. And this case competition has been really fun to work on. It's my first case competition. And the fact that we had to navigate through a very regulated industry, um, it was a bit of a challenge, but it also just made this case competition so much more exciting and made us have to dig a lot deeper to find out the information we needed to. And then hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a sophomore majoring in finance and applied psychology. And this process really um, helped me learn a lot about the growth of a business and the types of risks and rewards involved in trying to grow a business. So it was super helpful in exploring um, just all the limitations and um, breaking boundaries that a business can achieve. My name is Nassim Hachman. I am in CSOM. I'm a sophomore along with, we are both sophomores. Um, I, the reason I decided to do this was because honestly, I just thought it'd be really interesting to get a sort of hands-on experience. Obviously that's kind of like a, a cliche tagline, but honestly, like I've only gotten to do like one or two like presentations in class. And like, that's like a huge part of getting a career. So it's good to get more experience in my opinion. Uh, I'm Peter Marist. I'm this team's roommate. Um, and I'm actually an MCAS student, but the team told me about this. And I guess the reason I did it was because the idea interested me. I was interested in the sort of presenting and sort of public speaking and practicing like that. Also, I think a lot of it was due to Drizzly's business model itself, which I thought was sort of interesting and a couple ideas that sort of sparked interest in me, I guess. So I am not also the biggest business person. So I think it was also a big sort of learning experience and, you know, trying something new outside of the box. Hi, I'm Diane. I'm a freshman. I'm an econ major in MCAS. And the reason that I joined this competition was I knew we would be working with like a group in a group. And so through that, I thought it would be nice to meet people who have like similar interests. And then on top of that, just like getting the experience of um, like doing a competition like this, I thought that would just, you know, get like provide a feel of generally like if I like it and if I don't and like from what I experience I like I like it yeah and hi I'm Kristen um I'm also a freshman um I'm in CSOM and I'm currently planning on co-concentrating both finance and economics um and I I joined for similar reasons to Diane I really um I thought that I would meet some great people um you know, I really wanted to get uh, my hands dirty and start working on, on cases and real life scenarios um, such as this one. And, you know, I've had a great time just thinking through um, different regulations, different, um, you know, problems that arise in, you know, this complicated industry and, you know, and just in business in general. So um, that's why I, I joined the Drizzly Case Competition. Hi, my name is John Khalil. I'm a freshman in the Carroll School. I have really enjoyed the process of learning all about Drizzly's business model um, and then sort of coming up with a solution, particularly because this is a, a, a problem that Drizzly really has. So it's very interesting to come up with a, a real solution to a real problem that a real company has, uh, particularly um, because it's uh, a, a BC alums company. So it's really interesting to see uh, what BC alums are doing uh, right out of the Carroll School. Yeah, I can go. My name is Patrick. I'm also a freshman in the Carroll School of Management. And the uh, reason why I did Drizzly is because I've, I've never done a case competition before. And I really wanted to see how it is uh, preparing for and executing case competition. So far, I really enjoyed um, you know, coming with a plan, um, detailing the plan of, of how we can help uh, Drizzly, a company that was started, helped started by uh, BC Alums to, to help it succeed overall. And I think uh, John and I have really enjoyed um, helping to craft, craft a plan for Drizzly so far, and we enjoy sharing it with you guys. Now you know all the teams, and let's talk about the prices. In this year's competition, there are $1,000 cash prizes in total. The third place will get $200. The second place will win $300. And the winner will get $500 plus the opportunity to interview with the Dressly team for a job position. Now let's revealing 
the top three. Six teams, great job, everyone. Really appreciate all the presentations. Um, for third place, uh, we're giving this group third place because they really thought outside the box, really liked the strategy direction that they went. Unfortunately, presentation time, a little lengthy, so you're down in third. But uh, group three, I think it's uh, team three, Michelle and Sophia, congrats on a, a good idea. More brevity next time, more brevity, but good job. Uh, in second place, um, awesome presentation. I love the way that it was structured. Uh, love the way that the values and the mission of the company were put at the forefront of the recommendation. Um, and great job by everybody on the team. Uh, this is team one, Jena, uh, Justin, and Bijoy. Guys crushed it. All right, and for first place, we have team four. That was Nassim and Peter. Congrats, guys, really great job. Really great job to all the teams, um, particularly this team. Uh, in addition to having really good presentation, um, really sharp, uh, argument just th these guys backed up all of their arguments with data um, they really touched upon like what what we could build for the customer um, to contribute more value to the customer backing up pretty much every single claim that they had with the data that was given from the case and we also felt that this particular presentation this particular recommendation was the most feasible and we thought that you guys handled the questions super well really well researched and yeah good job congrats everybody and congratulations again to the teams that made it to the final round of starter chase first ever case competition the judges were incredibly impressed by your presentations and absolutely loved your insights starter Chase looks forward to planning more events and competitions like this one so stay tuned on our instagram and our newsletter for the latest updates to find out more about what Start at Shea does and who we are, visit us at our website at startatshea.com. Thank you.